1.6 acres, uh, Kanab, Kane County, Utah. My name is Miles McLaughlin. I'm here with Wilco Land. I wanted to, to run through this property with you. I wanted to go through a few things, talk about utilities, access, how to visit the property, how to do some of your own due diligence. So looking through photos, this is a beautiful area. You're gonna get a, a really wooded landscape. You would think, you know, down by the Grand Canyon, by Bryce Canyon, um, Escalante, Staircase, things like that. This is this is gonna be a lot drier area, which, which we see some dryness here. We see some red rock, and we'll get to the location on Google Maps here in a second. For those curious, we're a land investment company. We buy and resell vacant property. So our niche is undeveloped vacant land. Advertising it on the internet, more of a self-service buyer's due diligence model. So running through this property, I'm using GPS coordinates, and you can see that's gonna pull up the location on a map. This is located in Aspen Meadows, if anybody's familiar with that subdivision. Let's see where we're at. So this county that we started working in really is an epic area. We've got Bryce Canyon, uh, Zion down here. It's it's a world-class area. I mean, just look in all directions around this property and it's hard to go wrong with. So zooming in a little bit more, we can use GPS coordinates to access. You can get on satellite images and look for natural features in the landscape that might help you identify this property a little bit better. You can see some of the roads here too. Now, one question I had recently was, looking at the GIS map, I wanna pull up the GIS map and show you, you know, and explain what this is. This is basically, you know, all these areas are platted out, um, or you might hear it referred to as a tax map, meaning that, you know, somebody went in, drew these properties on a map, and they put the roads in and said, hey, this is the subdivision. There's going to be 500 of these properties. Here's all the roads. Here's all the properties, all the acreages, right? Very high level stuff, creating a subdivision. So when that was done, and the program I'm using right now, the program I'm using is trying to overlay a mimic of that plat map, that exact plat map on top of satellite imagery to match um, kind of exactly what it's describing, right? So it's trying to tell you that this is X amount of acreage. Um, I know it's two properties, but 1.66 total. So it's trying to match that as best as it can on the program. It's also trying to place these roads down. And we can see that some of these roads get fairly close to where they're actually supposed to be. Other times they're not. So, and I don't, so like for this one, the plat map, the GIS overlay is kind of wonky, it's shifted. So hypothetically, we should, I believe, be on Sioux Circle. Um, that looks like that's what that is. Now, when you look at it here, Sioux Circle is kind of up here. In all actuality, should everything be shifted up? Probably, you know, this guy didn't, didn't build his driveway on the road and his house probably isn't that close to the property line. So I'm assuming everything shifts you know, up or to the northeast a little bit. And then that starts to match up, right? That Sioux Circle starts to match up going into the property. The road down here looks fairly, looks a little off too. Like this is Google Maps showing Bryce Woodland Drive. Maybe everything should be shifted. So this Bryce Woodland Drive is right in the middle of it. The next thing I wanna show is that there's another circle. So Cheyenne Circle should go around. Now, physically, when you get out there, the Cheyenne Circle exists. Maybe there's a two track that goes up through here. But again, this was platted out at some point saying, hey, this is Cheyenne Circle. I mean, this this isn't somebody's private ownership. This is supposedly supposed to be a road. So there should be some access to this. You may need to contact the county and get a plat map, which we're going to do as well. And that'll help us look exactly where these roads connect. So physical plat map from when the subdivision was created will be helpful. Um, people are asking about flat areas too. I would say up here is you're going to be your flat spot. It's going to be some beautiful views on this property. Um, it's going to slope down as you get close to it. So using the GPS coordinates, uh, playing with the plat map. Uh, again, I'm going to order one from the county. So hopefully I update this in the next few weeks. But I wanted to share that with you for now. Feel free to take a look at it um, and drive out there anytime you'd like. So utilities, um, this would be a well in a septic area. There's nothing on, on the property right now. Power lines nearby. Like I said, use GPS coordinates to access. Curious what our um, half zoning does? Go ahead and go to the website here. You can just copy and paste that. Um, you can look into different allowed uses, different conditional uses, things like that. What's nice about this is it's two legal lots. You could hypothetically keep one, sell the other, put two houses up there. So it gives you some more options. Um, we've got owner carry financing options listed. Let us know if you have questions. We've got more property on the homepage here on Wilco Land. My number is 605. 299-5553. Thanks for watching.